So as I was looking at some of the papers that were turned in from the other class, I noticed a few things. Some of the papers that were turned in didn't have like all the factors. <coughs> and so I want to look at some of those problems that, I don't know, might help you do better on this homework assignment. I'm probably going to title this when I put it on the tube of you. I'll probably title it something like um, some of the homework answers for 295 and 296. So if you wanted to watch this tube of you later, oh, put the homework assignments away. You cannot be doing it as I put the answers up here. You're going to have to put forth some effort and maybe, um, maybe watch these videos on the tube of you. I'm just saying. Alright, so some of the problems, like for example, number three said list all the factor pairs for the number. And you can make a table or a graph to help you. And when I'm doing factor pairs, I kind of like to um, maybe um, make a T-chart like this. And then I like to use the divisibility rules. I like to use the divisibility rules, which I should have had you glue those in your journal. Did. Oh, you did. Excellent. Yes, ma'am. Um, we're supposed to do 295 and 296. Yes. She said 292 Yes. 296. Yes. But the only part you're going to have to turn in is 295 and 296. Okay. Okay. So, some of... What I like to do is use my divisibility rules. So for example, you want to open that and slide the magnet down. So for example, if we had, don't walk in front of my camera. So for example, if we had 18, and we're using our divisibility rules, yeah, just sit here for right now. And we're using our divisibility rules to find the factors and we have to list all the factors. So if I was doing this and I used my divisibility rules and I said something like, is 18 divisible by 2? Well, what is the divisibility rule for 2? Alexander? 2 is the only prime number and all the rest of the numbers are prime. Okay, that's why it's prime. But what's the rule to see if a number is divisible by 2? Evan? Good. If it ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So does this end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8? Yes. yes, it does. So I know it's divisible by 2. Okay, and I'm going to come out and figure out the other part of it in a moment, in a moment, in a moment. Okay? I also, I'm, I'm going to do this because I like to list them from least to greatest. I also know 1 and 18 are there. I always like to start with the 1 as the factor because sometimes that's forgotten and this factor can be very important when we're finding greatest common factor. So now we know it's divisible by 2. Now, does anybody remember the divisibility rule for 3? Helen? Alright, okay, okay. Joseph? 8. What's the divisibility rule, though, for 3? Alexander? Skip counting by 3. Okay, that's how we can find it. But what's the rule, Evan? Okay, any multiple of 3. But what if I gave you the number 372? Did you want to skip count by 3 all the way to 372? So, <clears throat> not divide. I mean, that'll work, but we can have a rule to see if a number is divisible by 3. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits, the word sum tells us what, Lainey? An answer to an addition problem. So, if the sum of the digits is a multiple of 3, so what's the sum of 1 plus 8? 9. nine. Is 9 a multiple of 3? Yes. Yes. 
See, I don't want to skip count all the way to a really big number, but if I use the divisibility rule, it makes my life much easier. So now I know it is divisible by three. Um, yes, sir. No, you can keep getting smaller. Okay. okay, we can keep getting smaller. And I'll show you that in a minute. That's an excellent question. All right, so we don't have a rule for four, but using our multiplication chart, we know it's, four is not going to go into it. Five. What Do we have a divisibility rule for five? Um, um, Bethany. The what? What's our rule, though? Because I don't want to count all the way up if it's like 148,200. I don't want to count all the way up by that. So what's our rule? Anybody remember, Dominic? It has to end in a 5 or 0. has to end in a 5 or 0. Oh, the librarian wants to see you. has to end in a 5 or 0. Does this end in a 5 or 0? No. Okay, anybody remember the rule for 6? All right, the rule for 6 is... If a number is divisible by 2 and 3, it's also divisible by 6. So is this number divisible by 2 and 3? Yes. 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 So I know it's also divisible by 6. And 7, it's not. And we can use multiplication okay. charts as long as the number's not huge. 8, it's not. 9, no. Okay. So 2 times what gives me 18? 9. 9. 3 times what? 3. 6. Six. And since I have six there, then I'm good. So, if you had a question on your homework assignment on page 295 um, that happened to be number three, and it asked you to list all the factors of 18, normally I like to put them in order from least to greatest. So, one, two, three, six, nine, eighteen. Now what I'm seeing on some of those papers I looked at was I, you know, they put two and nine. Okay, that's not all the factors. It's important to put all the factors. All the factors. And I think yesterday when I recorded the video during Flex, I may have shown the answer to one of the other problems. I don't and maybe when I record in my other classes, I'll show the answer to some of the other problems. Who knows? Who knows what Mr. McMurdo is going to do? Certainly, I don't know. Certainly. Um, let's look at 63. 63. And we want to use our T chart. Find the factors of 63. Well, I know I'm going to put 1 in 63. I don't even have to think about that. That doesn't require me going, hmm. No, no, hmm. No, hmm. It's not things that make you go, hmm. It's a song back from my childhood. Yes, sir? Three is one. Okay. Is two one? No. No. Because it doesn't end in a two, four, six, eight, or zero. So two is not. Three is one. Why is three one? Besides that we know it is. Olivia? Okay. That's not a rule, dividing them into both. Our rule is what, Evan, again? Uh, if, so if the two ones, the two digits add up, and the sum of the two digits are a multiple of three digits. Okay. So if the sum of these two digits, six plus three, are a multiple of three, then it's divisible by three. And six plus three equals nine. Nine is a multiple of three. It is. Trust me. Um, so three times something. Um, it's not divisible by four. Is it divisible by five? No. 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 Six? No. No, because it's not divisible by two and three. Seven? Mm -hmm. And now we get to the point where we can look at our multiplication chart. Seven? No. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Five. yes? Okay. Seven yeah. times what? Seven times nine. Seven times nine? <clears throat> so we get to the point when the numbers, when these numbers get bigger on this side, where we can look at our multiplication chart. Does eight go into sixty-three? No. no. And now we're at seven and nine. So again, 
If this were problem number six on our homework page, 295, and if you already turned it in, I mean, you may want to pull it out and look and watch maybe the three videos I might like do today that like will probably have some like answers on my like stuff. All right, so I would list my factors as 1, 3, 7, 9, 21, 63. Because when I'm grading this, if you miss one of the factors, that problem is wrong. What? So if I had five of these six factors, man, I've worked hard, I've done pretty good, but I have to mark it wrong because you didn't have all six of the factors. Evan. Um, did you have to put them in that order? No. It's easier if you put them in that order for you. And usually if you put this side in that order, you're basically writing down this side and then up this side so that you don't miss any of them. Questions? I wrote the two factors together in the next section. That's fine. That'll work too. All right, no questions. Boom! Shakalaka. Love y'all. Peace out. Have a blessed day.